We're at the Work Truck Show with Ed Bick of Detroit. Um, Ed, I understand the DD, I, DD13 is actually a workhorse in the vocational market. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, what changes have been made to the DD13? Well, actually, for the uh, new greenhouse gas 14 regulations, this engine has gone through a couple minor updates to it. Uh, the engine was first introduced as an EPA 07 engine in 2009. It continues on to be very popular and very appropriate engine for the vocational market. Uh, as a matter of fact, in the uh, 114 SD Freightliner truck, the uh, truck itself was really uh, meant to be you know, working with this particular engine here. So it's ideally suited uh, for applications where the 114 SD plays in. Uh, and in general, when it comes to improvements for uh, the GHG 14 version of this engine, uh, Detroit has actually updated the fuel filter module design where now there's uh, two filters here rather than the three in the previous uh, engine that we had. Um, that improves your serviceability. In general, when it comes to serviceability too, you've got all your filters that are located above the frame rails too for easy access, which makes changing them out very simple. Uh, from a fuel economy standpoint too, uh, there is an available uh, and optional variable speed water pump, which basically controls and disengages the clutch to the water pump to reduce parasitic load on the engine. Uh, this particular engine too has also gone some changes to the pistons where we have friction optimized pistons which also help contribute to uh, improve fuel economy. Uh, from a vocational standpoint too, the, this engine does come equipped with a rear end power takeoff which is on the back side of the engine here. Uh, continues on to have horsepower ratings from 350 to 470 uh, with torque ratings of 1250 to 1650. Uh, this engine continues to have a B50 life of 1 million miles and from a service interval standpoint uh, you have severe duty intervals that go uh, that start at 640 hours and we go to uh, long haul intervals of uh, 1280 hours. So Ed, um, th these regulations actually don't kick in here for another couple of years. They're getting the benefits of the increased fuel economy early? That's that correct. Right? That's correct. All of our engines have actually undergone some level of changes, some, more engi some engines more than others. Uh, but again, this has helped us realize overall fuel economy improvements, which is really what the main focus of the greenhouse gas regulations are, is to improve your fuel economy and reduce your uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So, so basically you're getting better fuel economy on, the, on this engine without increased complexity or increase? That's correct. I mean, the engine itself is basically unchanged. Like I said, there's some minor modifications, like I had just pointed out to you. Uh, but again, they're more like uh, evolutionary sort of improvements that have, uh, again, helped contribute to the fuel economy story on this engine. Has there been any impact on the service intervals at all? No, no, the service intervals are basically unchanged from when the engine first came out. Uh, as you recall, this engine first was introduced as an EPA 7 engine and then uh, SCR was added to it, which actually helped the engine breathe a little bit better. So mm -hmm. that in itself improved fuel economy and these minor modifications have also contributed to, again, some minor improvements in fuel economy uh, without affecting uh, any of the performance that you've come to expect from this 13-liter powerhouse.